Evo's two-year construction began by digging 10 feet of dirt from what had been a parking lot. Then they covered the ground with a temporary layer of concrete called a rat slab. The rat slab will provide a smooth surface for the first parking level. The day after the rat slab is poured is day one for the electrician. This is going to be fire alarm. Fire alarm. This is going to be security. This is going to be power. We're going to put the same thing over on this side. They are led by Supervisor Bob Mott. This is my first high rise that I've been in charge of. But I got top notch guys so working for me. What we're doing right now is we're laying out. He's uh, shooting down our boxes so they're secure. All the power out that we need. Buried inside each of Evo's concrete decks will be hundreds of junction boxes for things like ceiling lights and fire alarms. With the concrete, you're just going to see this and then the hole inside. And we come back and we mount our light or uh, you know a fire alarm strobe or whatever it's going to be right there. Each of these boxes needs to be precisely placed to hold fixtures in areas that won't be built for another seven months. The surveyor lays us control line, so we make sure we make our layout right. Uh, to make sure that when it's said and done, our fixtures are straight rather than like this, so it looks aesthetically pleasing. They track which type of box goes where with colored spray paint. Yellow for lighting, red for fire alarms. The next day, a crew of iron workers begin laying down a dense grid of rebar. Put it on this side right there. Right there. Yeah. This rebar will reinforce a poured hard. concrete deck that'll be the first level of underground parking. Once the rebar is down, the electricians return to connect their boxes together with Smurf tube. Take a Smurf over to that, take a Smurf over to that. We call it Smurf tube. It's basically flexible P PVC, and it's just a quick way to run conduit. The Smurf tubes will be used to get wire to the junction boxes embedded in the concrete deck. It's critical that the right tubes go to the right boxes. Was I smoking crack that day or what? OK. Oh, EPB and EBL. All right. And then I got to bring you a 3 quarter for the ATS status. Yeah. All right. I'll keep stringing one inch. You're just going to have to, when we do this, you're going to have to identify. Yeah. I'm supposed to have two days. Typically, I get a day.